We will continue to give the Almighty and gracious God thanks and praise for all his mercies, blessing, and benevolence to us as a nation. Despite the terrible and excruciating effects of economic recession, God is still sustaining the citizens of this country. While we are praying for our dear President Muhammad Buhari for quick recovery from e health I want to remind the President that life has no duplicate. There is no doubt in the fact that the enormity of governors will surely be aggravating his state of fragile health condition. Is it not better for the president to travel the route of honor and safety by resigning our president in order to save both himself and the nation at large? To my mind, Mr. President, you have had your fair share of leadership in this country since 1983. At 73, the president can function more efficiently as an elder statesman. After all, Emmanuel Macron, who was only six years only when you were military head of state in 1983, is now the president of France. Are we not confused in our own country? The youngest president in Africa is 71 years in Africa. And the oldest is that man in Zimbabwe, 90 years. And where are we heading with this confusion? On the security in our nation, let me also join others to commend the president on the release of another batch of abducted Chibok girls. The notable progress, though fluctuating at times, in the war against the Islamic insurgent known as Boko Haram should also be appreciated and commended. But aside that, the greatest security question beckoning for answers in this country include, who are the perpetrators of the mindless killings of Christians in southern Kaduna? How many of them have been arrested, prosecuted, and sentenced accordingly? Did the security agencies play their expected and established constitutional roles in handling the situation? Why is it almost impossible for the federal government of Nigeria to curb the activities of and turn the voracious, almighty, in quote, Fulani headsmen? Who are the suppliers of the AK-47 guns and the pump-action revolvers they are using and they are carrying? Who are supplying them? When was arms, arms carrying, legalized for this baptized Boko Haram group? And we talk of one Nigeria. And young people will march peacefully along the street as IPOP members, and you release armies to shoot them. But arm carriers are not harassed by anybody. And we are one Nigeria. The better we tell ourselves the truth. We are not one Nigeria. Let us go. That is me. What did I say? Let us go. There is nothing that makes an evil man a member of this country now. Nothing. And we are afraid to speak in Nigeria, especially our politicians, because of their pockets. The governors of the Southeast are throwing their eyes in the bush, and things are getting wrong. Because they want to secure their position. And nobody is talking. Have they killed Fashola? He's talking, and they are running away from him. Every backyard now, half, half men are killing people, destroying farms. Traditional realized idea wearing long robes without doing anything. Go to the north, you will travel three, four hours. You can't see one recruit policeman on the road. Go from Azibo to Amit, you may meet up to five police checkpoints. Extorted money from Igbo people. And the, the senators are there talking nonsense. Let us go. Write it, press men. Bishop Ikako said, Let us go. Let us go. 
enough is enough. The only thing I'm quarreling with is the system adopted by high poor people. Let us polish it and not be confrontational. Man, I am Nana. I am Nana. You can only stop Biafra, but you cannot close the chapter. One day Biafra will go.